I think I was about seven when I got my first guitar. I made mum and dad order me one off of eBay so I could teach myself because I was really into Taylor Swift at the time. I was a huge fan. And yeah, I think like once I started playing guitar, I kind of just knew that that's what I wanted to do. Ever since I could talk, I think I was just always singing and like always making my brother videotape me. And yeah, it's pretty funny. Um, but yeah, I definitely think that it's just always been something that I've wanted to do. Uh, when I was really young, um, my family and I moved to an island in the Northern Territory, so like the top part of Australia. We spent a couple of years there and I think it was the most beautiful place to grow up as a kid. Like we always went fishing, we were always out on day trips. Um, we could just go and do whatever we wanted pretty much and like we could walk from one side of the island to the other and go and see our friends and like stuff like that. Um, so for me it was just a beautiful place to grow up and I'm, I just felt really innocent more than anything. Like you could just go and do whatever you wanted and there's no technology then, like no like phones or anything that we could have or um, so I think it was just a really beautiful way to grow up. So when in 2010 I think I was I was 10 and we moved from Good Island to Mackay which was a big country town um, in Queensland but I did find that growing up in a town like that and being a female I wasn't taken as seriously as the other, like the other male people that were doing what I'm doing um, but yeah Mackay's like the council there had been like has been super supportive of me and I wouldn't be doing what I am without their support and I'm um, yeah, super grateful for that and for everyone that supported me. I just remember this one vivid memory. I was probably like 15 at the time and I was playing from like 10 till 1 or something on a Saturday night and this guy came up to me and was like asking me if I wanted drugs and stuff and my dad was there and he just like lost it. He was like, she's only 15, like what are you doing? So the whole album's pretty much just about my whole experience through high school, so like the past five years of my life. Um, and like the main theme in there is just about this social thing we have here in Australia. It's called tall poppy syndrome. Um, it's pretty much just where if someone's succeeding, a lot of people like to just cut down people like with what they're doing and make them feel crap about them doing well. And I don't know, I just felt like I experienced that a lot while I was in school. And like you, when you're in school, you just want a nice group of friends that just support you and like are super happy for you with whatever you're doing and I don't feel like I felt that. Um, and yeah, once I finished school I went and recorded a song called Hunger and that song is probably like the anthem of this album. It's like the one song that just talks, talks specifically about tall poppy syndrome in Australia and um, it's pretty much just a big fuck you to the girls that were nasty to me. I think it's all come full circle though, like I'm doing what I'm doing now and um, I've realised that that stuff needed to happen while I was growing up for me to be where I am now and for me to be as resilient as I am. I absolutely love playing with my band. I think I've been playing with them now for about two years. They're like my older brothers. Like I love being around them, I love travelling with them. They just make the whole experience like 100% better. I draw a lot of inspiration, like for my music from so many other bands. Like I can never pinpoint one person that I'm into at the moment. Like it's just constantly changing and whenever I go in to write a song or record a song, I'll always have like three or four songs that I'm listening to at that moment and I take bits from that and put it into what I'm making. So I, yeah, I think my sound is always growing and it's always changing and that's purely because of the things that I'm listening to and like sometimes I'll be listening to like Fleetwood Mac and then other times I'll be listening to like Brockhampton or something you know like it's just super diverse and I think that's what makes writing a lot easier and recording a lot easier as well is just having those different influences. The most mind-blowing moment of my career so far I think would probably be when I played one of my first festivals and it was just really crazy because it was like my first festival pretty much and we were on like the same time as another pretty big band, Amy Shark here in Australia and she'd like just finished and I was just super scared that 
no one was going to come and watch me, but there was probably like 500 people there and I had people at the front very like singing all my songs and it's just a really heartwarming moment I think. It was just super nice to know that the stuff that I'm putting out is being recognised by people. And I'd love to start travelling overseas, touring in Europe, America. Um, they're the main goals, playing festivals over there um, and just riding with heaps of different people all around the world. I want to start co-writing with more people and um, yeah, creating new music.